ESPN 94.1 FM and AM 930 present The Drive. Winner of the 2024 West Virginia Broadcasters Association Excellence in Broadcasting Award for Best Talk Show. Here we go. It's Friday. Your drive begins now on ESPN 94.1 and AM 930. I'm your host, Paul Swan. Getting you set for the weekend. Our text line this hour on this Friday is 304-396-TALK. That's 304-396-8255. You can find me on X, formerly known as Twitter, at Paul Swan. We're going to open the text line up all this hour. We'll get all of those burning questions at least addressed as best we can. And, of course, we're getting closer to the start of football season. If you're a big fan of the NFL, and if you're like me or you're a Bengals fan, we actually have Bengals football coming up tomorrow. The Bengals are going to play host to Tampa Bay, and we've got that game on our sister station, Cat Sports 93-3 and 1340. Green Bay is going to be at Cleveland on Saturday as well. They've got a 425 game. And your Pittsburgh Steelers. I know I'm in Steelers country partially. Take it on Houston. That's coming up tonight at 7. I did not keep track of most of the Thursday night action. The Giants beat Spencer Adkins' Detroit Lions 14-3. And New England beat Carolina 17-3. It's preseason. It's practice. It's it's like a scrimmage. Do do we really worry about this stuff kind of early? I, I don't. But at the same time, I'm kind of excited for the fact that we do have some football. I'm more excited for Joe Burrow because we're going to see more of Joe Cool. You're going to have to. He's going to need to get reps. Injuries hopefully won't be a factor for him this year, but I think we need to see the Bengals off to a fast start. So the more Joe Burrow in the preseason, the better for me. And again, reminder, that's coming up tomorrow. That's going to be on our sister station. You can catch it all games on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340. And, of course, we're going to have the majority of the Bengals season as well right here on ESPN 94.1 and AM 930. It's a light day. It is Friday. we got a couple things to kind of remind you about. Again, this is all exhibition practice. Men's soccer is going to be at number two Notre Dame in exhibition action tomorrow. So get a chance to see what that's about, what the team looks like. Notre Dame, that's going to be a good challenge for the Thundering Herd. And of course, Chris Grassy. Isn't this a rebuilding year and they're already picked number eight in the coaches poll? Isn't that how strong this program is? It's a rebuilding year and this program's picked eighth. So should be a interesting scrimmage to say the least and of course the the thing I want to get into a lot with you tonight and we're going to talk about basketball schedules we'll get into all of that with you we'll we'll not go too far away from that football of course we're getting closer to the start of football season and really you know how with the closed practices and just the nature of how camp is run you know we don't get too much that comes out not too much at least early on So I know there's been some grumbling that, you know, there's not that much anticipation for the start of football season. Not yet anyway. And I think it'll come once we get closer to kickoff. But staying with football, the last conference championship was won in 2014. And that team won the Conference USA Championship. That was led by Doc Holliday, of course. You had Rakeem Cato on that team, Tommy Shuler. And that team is coming back for a reunion. I don't know the guest list just yet. I don't know who's coming back, who's confirmed for this thing. It's all speculation on our part right now. But they're set for a reunion on September 28th this year. So that's going to be cool to see the last conference champions come back. It's a shame that they are the last conference champions. But at the same time, it's good to have them come back. It took a long time for Marshall to get to that point, to get to a Conference USA championship, and it's taken a little longer for Marshall to get back to a conference championship. Sunbelt, we're hoping that this is the year that maybe Marshall can make that appearance. But that team's coming in. So my big question, who would you like to see come back from that squad? Who's on that team that you are excited to possibly see? At the same time, would you like to see Doc Holliday come back? Should Doc Holliday be part of that reunion? 
Will Doc Holliday be part of that reunion? That's a big question for me. And again, I don't have the guest list. I don't know who is confirmed to be on this thing or not. But I think Doc Holliday should be welcomed back, and I believe he would be. He's on the social media post. There's the graph of him there holding the trophy. And so that kind of is telegraphing to me, maybe we're going to see Doc Holliday. Now, and this is a slight towards current coach, but I like Doc Holliday, and I hated to see him go. I like Doc Holliday. I know there were a lot of knocks on Doc Holliday. I thought that he cared. I thought that he gave everything he possibly could. I don't know if Doc Holliday would thrive in this new name, image, and likeness era we're in, how he would have thrived or not thrived with the transfer portal. We don't know. I'm curious what his thoughts would be on the current landscape of college football, how he would have adjusted, how he could have adjusted. We just don't know. And so Coach Huff comes in, and he's more attuned to the transfer portal. He's more in line with some of the changes. He was at a a bigger program. Of course, being a disciple of Nick Saban, you know, he's got some certain insights there. And he does things different. And the one thing that I remember and I respect about Coach Huff coming in, saying, look, we're going to change some things. It's not saying that the things that were done were bad. It's just we're doing things different. And I always respected him for that. So I think it would be good to have Doc Holliday come back, be a part of that reunion. Should he come back, would you love to see him? Texter comes in just now and says, uh, Cato should be back. No question, Paul. I appreciate that. Yeah. He definitely should be back. If Schuler's in, Cato's in for sure. And you got to have more than just those guys, but you can't really have the reunion without Cato and Schuler. It doesn't feel like it's a proper reunion without those guys. And it just doesn't feel proper to me if Doc Holliday's not on the sideline, Doc Holliday's not a part of this. But I think they're telegraphing something here with that image, or that's just the best picture of the trophy being held up and Doc's holding the trophy up. I think they're telegraphing something. I think he should be a part of it. And if he hasn't been invited, actually, I'm going to retract that. He has to have been invited. Why wouldn't they invite him? Why wouldn't this administration not want him back here? After all, it it wasn't this athletic director that parted ways with him. The athletic director that came in now inherited the football program and Coach Huff. Yeah, he was not here for that. It was more of a Board of Governors decision than anything. So I think the athletic department would have no problem in welcoming back the previous coach. And, of course, if you're having a reunion for that championship team, you should have all the principals, including Doc Holliday, have some of the coaches come back. Rakeem Cato, Tommy Schuler, those guys should be back. So we'll get more of your text in coming up. That's 304-396-TALK, 304-396-8255. You know how this works. We also take your comments on X, formerly known as Twitter, at Paul Swan. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you get your podcast. If you are listening to us on delay, you know where to get us on the podcast. If you miss a part of the show, you miss any part of the of the day, you want to go back, we're all over social media. So you know where to find us. Quick time out. We'll get your text in. We will continue on with today's edition of The Drive, ESPN 94.1 and AM 930. Hey, it's Lex and Terry. KMB Pest Control, locally owned and operated in Huntington, West Virginia, serving the tri-state. Man, these guys are great. They do residential and commercial, indoor, outdoor, free estimates. These guys are the best, I'm telling you. This is when the critters come out. High customer ratings, satisfaction guaranteed, large fleet, crew, meaning same-day appointments, and quick service. All you got to do is pick up your phone and call Patrick, the owner. Okay, that's what you got to do. Or Becca, they're standing by to take care of you guys. It's KNBPestControl dot com online and uh, give them a call man they got a great facebook page go ahead and like it they got a phone number we'll give you that why not it's free 304-523-4281 or go to kmbpestcontrol.com they will tell you what everything looks like what you're looking for if you're getting a pest problem and get on top of it they're the best make sure you call patrick once again who is uh, very passionate about his pest control or uh, becca kmb pest control they'll kill for your business trust the guys with over 40 years of experience at kmb pest control Giovanni's has great Italian dishes. Spaghetti with meat sauce, lasagna, ravioli, manicotti, all dinners served with hot garlic bread or Italian rolls. Giovanni's, the Italian place to be. 
Thanks for calling Discover. This is Diego. Hi, Diego. It's Jennifer Coolidge. You know, I just want to say your cashback match makes me feel so special. It really inspired me. That's great. Doubling the cashback you've earned at the end of your first year is what we do. Well, I'm doubling everything now. Double dating, double dipping, double feature, double header, double whammy. You know, basically double or nothing. You earn, we match. Discover cashback match. See terms at discover.com slash credit card. Is reviewing life insurance on your to-do list? Now's the perfect time to add it. A friend recently told me that securing life insurance sooner rather than later can help you lock in lower rates for years to come. So I bumped this up on my list and got it done. I called SelectQuote and couldn't believe how easy and affordable life insurance is. I'm 40 and got a $500,000 policy for $16 a month. My husband's also 40 and his $500,000 policy was only $18 a month. Plus, with SelectQuote's same-day coverage there was no medical exam required and we were covered by the time we hung up knowing i have this checked off my list feels amazing but the peace of mind knowing my family is protected feels even better call select quote at 1-800-694-1010 that's 1-800-694-1010 or go to selectquote.com to get your free quote today 1-800-694-1010 Details on example rate at selectquote.com. Head back to school in style with James Family Outfitters back to school sale going on now. 10% off athletic shoes and sandals, New Balance, Skechers, Brooks, Under Armour. 10% off dress and casual shoes, Clarks, Blowfish, Hey Dude, Skechers, Bourne, Florsheim, Dansko, Easy Street, Merrill, Dockers, and Jelly Pop. 50% off sandals, Clarks, Skechers, Northside, Spring Step, and Chaco. Stake your claim. See the folks named James. 507 Caramelo Boulevard, Grayson. Visit online at jamesfamilyoutfitter.com and on Facebook. Sale excludes Simply Southern. This is The Drive with Paul Swan on ESPN 94.1 FM and AM 930. Welcome back to your Friday Drive. I'm your host, Paul Swan. Our text line this hour is 304-396-TALK, 304-396-8255. You can find me on X, formerly known as Twitter, at Paul Swan. I think my DMs are open. You can hit me there. Or you can at me. Doesn't matter. Big question of the day is, uh, after Marshall made it known on social media that there was going to be a, a championship reunion, 2014 squad is going to be coming back September 28th. Last conference champions. What do you think? Should the thundering herd Invite Doc Holliday back. Now, again, I don't have the invitation list, but he probably could be already invited. The social media graphic is promoting the event, and it has Doc holding the trophy. Wouldn't that be cool if Doc came out holding the trophy? I think it would be great if he was coming back, and you know, you get to talk to him a little bit. Hey, what have you been doing since uh, you no longer are the head coach? You know, what do you think about some of the changes that are happening? Love to get a chance to just talk to him. I think Doc's biggest problem was that he is a guy that, and this isn't a knock on him. I just think this is what the problem was. This is where the disconnect was between a lot of fans. It's, of course, fans are demanding everywhere you go. This isn't a Marshall unique thing. This is everywhere you go. I mean, if you win eight, well, why didn't you win nine? If you win nine, why didn't you win ten? Why aren't you winning conference championships every single year? Why aren't you winning bowl games every single year? I mean, those are those are the demands. Fans are going to have the same demands everywhere. You, know, you can't have a losing season. You know, I, I'm donating money to the university. You know, so I expect more out of this team. You know, why can't Marshall compete for championships? All of that stuff. Every single year, you do you do well, you better do better. And that's going to be just the normal criticisms of any coach. So that's not unique to Doc Holliday. Doc was not the guy that would go out and just be seen all over the community. He wasn't hanging out at your favorite restaurant. He wasn't hanging out at your favorite watering hole. Doc was the guy that would get up early, get in, do football all day, eat, drink, sleep, live football. And then after he's done, whatever hour he would get done, he's out of there. He's home. He's spending what free time that he allows himself to be home. He wasn't out and about. Now, social media has not stopped. It has grown 
since Doc Holliday was last the head football coach of the Thundering Herd. It's only gotten bigger. And Marshall throwing a lot more on social media. They've hired a team. They have people now. There are positions that weren't there a few years ago that are there now. They have a creative suite to do all this stuff. They're focusing more on social media. That's where you sometimes get some of their stuff first. They post their info on social media and then dis- distribute it everywhere else. Coach Huff's on Twitter. He's on X. He's making videos. There's more of him on social media. And so you see him more. I think that was something that could have helped Doc Holliday. If Doc really realized, you know, Doc, not everybody, not everybody has a sour disposition here. There, there are people that want to like you. And so Doc was, I think, a really good guy. I will die on that hill. I like Doc as a coach. I hope that he's part of this championship reunion. And if he's not, I'll be disappointed because I think it's it's fair to say he was a part of some good times at Marshall University. You can't deny that. 304-396-TALK, 304-396-8255. Texter writes in and says, absolutely, Doc Holliday should be part of the reunion. He was the head coach of the only conference championship in Conference USA. He should definitely be there. I appreciate that text. Thank you. 304-396-TALK, 304-396-8255. Texter writes in and says, Paul, do you think Doc would want to come back after the way that fans treated him? I hope that after a few years, there are some fans that have maybe softened on Doc a little bit. I think that with time, you realize, you know, hey, Doc was pretty good. He, he cared about Marshall. I mean, we wouldn't have the 75 game to the extent that it is now without Doc Holiday. That was a Doc Holiday thing. He's the one that really got the ball rolling on that. You remember that. So there are some things that happened with Doc Holliday. And I know that there was a lot of angst around Doc Holliday. You know, he just can't get it done. He can't win the big one. He can't get us to where we need to be. You know, wouldn't have won that conference championship without Cato and Schuler. And that's fair. He did have a heck of a combination there with, with Schuler and, of course, with Cato. So I, I get that as well. At the same time, I think he needs to be there. If you're going to have a reunion of that team, he needs to be there. Have him back. From our text line, Doc, back to be head coach. Now, that now wouldn't that be something? That's the text. I appreciate that. I don't know if Doc is wanting to jump into that game again. Because, again, everything's changed in just a short period of time, and that includes the transfer portal. That includes name, image, and likeness. All of these things have changed, and it's different now. Doc Holliday, would he be working the transfer portal? I mean, they had transfers, but would he be working the transfer portal as hard? Would he be working the high school ranks as hard? How would he have to deal with, okay, I've recruited these guys, and then all of a sudden i got to go re-recruit them to keep them here. At the same time, I'm not going to be able to keep some of these guys because they're going to they're gonna get out of here instead of developing with me. They're going to go somewhere else where they think they can get a – a quicker start. So I got to go get some more guys in the transfer portal, not just recruiting high school kids. I got to go find players that are disgruntled elsewhere. So I got to get into the transfer portal. I got to do that. And of course, dealing with name, image, and likeness. But to be fair, it's a different athletic department. So maybe resources would have been given to Doc that are being given now. And maybe there would be people that they specialize in this type of venture. I mean, again, football has definitely expanded staffing to try to keep up with everything. Back to our text line. Texter says, Paul, I believe Doc Holliday should definitely be invited to the championship reunion, but Marshall University officials didn't invite George Chomp back for the 87 team. I didn't remember that. I appreciate that text. Thank you. I didn't remember that. Chomp was somebody he was a little bit more I'm a fan of him because Marshall football, as I was growing up, 70s, 80s, especially with the 80s, Chomp was a big part of that. I was a big Chomp guy. I was a big Jim Dunning guy. Bob Pruitt's my guy, obviously. I'm a big Pruitt guy as well. I I did a talk show with him. I did his talk show for a few years. And so I love Pruitt. There's been a good run of guys. I think if you're going to have – Any type of reunion like that, it should be something that you can bring 
the coach back as well. Texter says that, yeah, it's a fact that George Chomp wasn't invited. That deliberate slight was one of my biggest disappointments in Marshall University since I've lived. I would be disappointed in that as well. I appreciate the text. Yeah, you shouldn't do that. You should at least extend the invitation. And yeah, leave it to that individual. If you're going to have a reunion, bring the coach back. Everybody can be professional. It might not have ended well, but, you know, this is a reunion. Hey, we're, we're celebrating this accomplishment that you did here. We want you to come back. We want to celebrate it with you, and we hope that you'll come and celebrate with us. So I hope the invitation, and again, I don't have the guest list. I don't know who's been invited. I will ask. I will hopefully find out if I can. But I would think that if you're having a championship reunion, everybody needs to be invited. Assistant coaches, anybody that's available, anyone that's available that can come should be invited. Give them special treatment. Make sure that they have a weekend experience. Do something special with them on Friday night. Saturday, bring them out. Let them enjoy the game atmosphere. Make sure they have good seating. Let them roam the sidelines. Let them go through the facility building, see all the changes, what's happening, what's in store for the university. I mean, welcome these guys back. Do it right. And I hope that the athletic department's doing that, and I believe they are. 304-396-TALK, 304-396-8255. It's your Friday. We're getting you set for the weekend. More of your texts coming up on this edition of The Drive, ESPN 94.1 and AM 930. Get the last roof you'll ever need with Steel Roofing from Menards. Steel Roofing protects your home and offers superior wind, hail, and fire resistance. Plus, you can save on cooling costs. Choose from 29 beautiful colors available in cut-to-your-length panels for fast installation. Save big on Steel Roofing at Menards, America's number one home improvement retailer for customer satisfaction, according to J.D. Power. For J.D. Power 2024 award information, visit jdpower.com slash awards. Save big. Let the good times roll. Downtown Huntington's premier weekly music event is back. It's Mount West Night Street Live, presented by New Trail, Garage Beer, Big Truck, The Beast, La Marca Prosecco, and Matua Sauvignon Blanc. This Friday, it's Wayne Graham with Blue Twisted Steel. Music starts at 7 on the Marshall OBGYN stage. The Little Caesars Kid Zone is back, and Gomart Happy Hour starts at 5. Enjoy food and drinks from the Marshall Hall of Fame Cafe, Sip Downtown Brasserie, and Summit Beer Station. Mark your calendar for Friday, August 16th for the Thundering Herd Rally with the Music of Madhouse. August 30th is Huntington Music and Arts Festival Night featuring Brad Goodall with Massing. Night Street Live is driven by Yes Chevy, Yes Ford every Friday night through Labor Day. Night Street in Huntington between 3rd and 4th Avenues. Sponsored by Delta Hotels, Marshall OBGYN, Wendy's, Mountain Mindful, City of Huntington, Marshall University, Impact Media, Xfinity High Speed Internet, One Way Septic and rent and Kendrick Communications. Buddy's All-American Barbecue is now in Milton. Enjoy all your favorite Buddy's classics like pulled pork, brisket, ribs, and more on East Main Street in Milton. Buddy's All-American Barbecue, the home of great barbecue, ice-cold beer, and killer wings in Huntington and now in Milton. Did you know September 11th is a national day of service? We invite you to be kind with Volunteer West Virginia because every mountaineer has the power to make a difference. Join in our statewide day of service. Whether it's lending a hand or spreading kindness, in West Virginia, every mountaineer is a volunteer. Visit volunteer.wv.gov to find a volunteer opportunity near you. Brought to you by Volunteer West Virginia, the West Virginia Broadcasters Association, and this station. Is reviewing life insurance on your to-do list? Now's the perfect time to add it. A friend recently told me that securing life insurance sooner rather than later can help you lock in lower rates for years to come. So I bumped this up on my list and got it done. I called Select Quote and couldn't believe how easy and affordable life insurance is. I'm 40 and got a $500,000 policy for $16 a month. My husband's also 40 and his $500,000 policy was only $18 a month. Plus, with Select Quote's same day coverage there was no medical exam required and we were covered by the time we hung up knowing i have this checked off my list feels amazing but the peace of mind knowing my family is protected feels even better call select quote at 1-800-694-1010 that's 1-800-694-1010 or go to selectquote.com to get your free quote today 1-800-694-1010 Details on example rate at selectquote.com. 
You're listening to The Drive with Paul Swan on ESPN 94.1 and AM 930. Winner of the 2024 West Virginia Broadcasters Association Excellence in Broadcasting Award for Best Talk Show. 304-396-TALK, 304-396-8255. That's our text line to be a part of today's show here on ESPN. 94.1 94.1 in AM 930. We've been talking a little bit about the upcoming reunion for the 2014 Conference USA Championship squad. Marshall's going to have a reunion for them on September 28th. So I know a lot of you will be excited to see some of the players that make up one of the best teams ever to play for the Thundering Herd. Where do you think that 2014 team compares? That's what I'm trying to say. Where do you think that squad, the 2014 team, where do you think it compares to some of the all-time greats? Could the 2014 team compare to the 92 team? How about the 96 team? What about the 1999 team? What do you think? You think that these guys could match up with anybody that ever played for the Thundering Herd? 304-396-TALK, 304-396-8255. That is our text line to be a part of today's show. Or you can find me on X, formerly known as Twitter, at Paul Swan. Some other things that Marshall announced on social media, we heard a little bit from Ryan Crisp a few days ago. And if you missed that, you can go back and you can listen to our podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcast. The Family Zone, a little bit more of the details are out about this. And, of course, if you missed that interview with Ryan, let me catch you up. With the concourse being expanded and with the fenced area being put up, because again, you have campus carry, so there are going to be some initiatives that will be taking place for football season, and that includes you're going to be checked at the gate, you're going to have to go through a metal detector, you're going to have to come a little early if you want to maybe get through and get to your seat, but they're going to open up the concourse areas a little bit more. They're going to have more variety of items for you. So there's going to be a trade-off. They'll have more things, maybe a value proposition for you if you come a little early to get in, and something that they're pushing. So if you come in early and you want to bring the kids, there's going to be a family zone. Now, this might not appeal to everyone, but if you have kids, I'm sure this might be something that you or your family will love. It's going to be at Gate C, and the Family Zone is going to have games. So have you seen these giant Jenga blocks? So the kids will love that. They're going to have the Jenga box. So they're going to have the Connect 4. Is it going to be giant Connect 4? If it is, I'm in. I love Connect 4 as a kid. That's that's one of those games that I hope never goes away. It's, It's just classic. It's Connect 4. And they're also going to have... You know how you have the photo opportunities. You're going to have cardboard cutouts. I don't know. It's going to be a cardboard cutout of Doc Holliday there for the 2014 reunion. I would love that. Is there going to be a cutout of Charles Huff? That would be cool. A Bob Pruitt cutout? Who wouldn't want to get their picture taken with cardboard Bob Pruitt? So you have all of those opportunities. And you're going to have a magic show. It's a pregame magic show from Joey Stepp. It's going to start 90 minutes and 45 minutes prior to kickoff. So if you get there, you'll have plenty of time to see the magic show. If you miss the first one, you'll see the second one. And it's just something that the university is trying to do to engage more families, bring kids in. You think this is the right path? This is something. Should there be inflatable? I don't know if there are going to be inflatables there. That's a good question. Should football stadiums be more of an entertainment district now? Should Jones C. Edwards Stadium eventually, hopefully with expansion and improvements and upgrades, morph into an entertainment district? Sort of like a mini entertainment center. You go in, you got something for the kids, you have something for the adults, you have a beer garden, you have an area where you can hang out prior to the game. There's going to be fun and games for the kids throughout the football stadium. You're going to have different points of sale for, hopefully, a variety of food and drink options. And you're going to have, hopefully, multiple things to do for the kids. So what should Marshall do to 
try to make sure that you are engaged in the game and in the hot, the entire ordeal here of going to a football game. What can Marshall do? Because you don't now just show up and go to the game. There are people that that's what they want to do. They just show up and they go to the game. Raise my hand. I'm one of those. I'm going to show up. I'm going to go do the game. And that's it. So when I go to a Bengals game, you know, I get there, I park, I walk through the the crowds, the humanity. There's always something going on. It's like a little street festival. And then, you know, I get to the game. I'm there. I'm in the stadium. I'm ready to go. That's me. That's not how it works these days, though. And I know Marshall tried to have the the whole street festival. I think the best thing that Marshall and the city of Huntington could do is just open that back up. I think you need to have better flow of traffic than have the uh, the street festival there. Bring the party closer to Joan C. Edwards Stadium, and I think they're trying to do that as well. So what do you think? Is this the right way to go? Would you like to see other things for fans, not just with the family zone? And they've already got the on-campus, they've got that fan zone anyway going, so they're trying to come up with different things for you to do while you're there because not everyone is there to tailgate. I mean, you might get there early, but you're not there necessarily to tailgate. There's a lot of fans who do show up, and they just tailgate, and they don't go to the game. And there are a lot of fans who they show up, they'll go through the tailgate lot, but they're there for the game. And, of course, you have those that are in between. So what would you like to see the Thundering Herd do to kind of figure out how to keep you entertained? And, of course, halftime, that's going to be a challenge as well. Do you bring in do you bring in the other band would you stay if the other team has a really good band and they perform? Would you stick around halftime for that? How would you how would you like to see halftime handled? That's the question that should be answered. 304-396-TALK, 304-396-8255. We're going to take a break early, come back, and we're going to open up the text line the rest of the way. You're listening to The Drive, ESPN 94.1 and AM 930. Guess what, people? Wendy's has new saucy nugs. You heard me. Wendy's nugs now come in seven saucy flavors. Buffalo, honey barbecue, garlic parm, spicy ghost pepper. You can literally hear your taste buds after every bite. I'm serious. Listen to mine. Okay, that's just me playing with sound effects. For a whole new way to nug, gotta be Wendy's. Open till midnight or later. At participating U.S. Wendy's, hours may vary by location. Bluegrass Wound Care and Hyperbarics is now open in Ashland and accepting new patients. If you or a loved one are dealing with persistent wounds that will not heal, trust the experts at Bluegrass Wound Care and Hyperbarics to provide compassionate and advanced care. Their skilled team, equipped with state-of-the-art technology, is here for you. They're dedicated to your well-being and comfort with convenient parking within 25 feet of the door. Visit BluegrassWoundCare.com or call 606-325-6493 to schedule your appointment today. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Is reviewing life insurance on your to-do list? Now's the perfect time to add it. A friend recently told me that securing life insurance sooner rather than later can help you lock in lower rates for years to come. So I bumped this up on my list and got it done. I called Select Quote and couldn't believe how easy and affordable life insurance is. I'm 40 and got a $500,000 policy for $16 a month. My husband's also 40 and his $500,000 policy was only $18 a month. Plus, with Select Quote's same-day 
day coverage. There was no medical exam required, and we were covered by the time we hung up. Knowing I have this checked off my list feels amazing, but the peace of mind knowing my family is protected feels even better. Call Select Quote at 1 800 694 1010. That's 1 800 694 1010. Or go to selectquote.com to get your free quote today. 1 800 694 1010. Details on example rate at selectquote.com. Let the good times roll. Downtown Huntington's premier weekly music event is back. It's Mount West Night Street Live, presented by New Trail, Garage Beer, Big Truck, The Beast, La Marca Prosecco, and Matua Sauvignon Blanc. This Friday, it's Wayne Graham with Blue Twisted Steel. Music starts at 7 on the Marshall OBGYN stage. The Little Caesars Kids Zone is back, and Gomart Happy Hour starts at 5. Enjoy food and drinks from the Marshall Hall of Fame Cafe, Sip Downtown Brasserie, and Summit Beer Station. Mark your calendar for Friday, August 6th. For the Thundering Herd Rally with the music of Madhouse. August 30th is Huntington Music and Arts Festival Night featuring Brad Goodall with Massing. Night Street Live is driven by Yes Chevy, Yes Ford every Friday night through Labor Day. Night Street in Huntington between 3rd and 4th Avenues. Sponsored by Delta Hotels, Marshall OBGYN, Wendy's, Mountain Mindful, City of Huntington, Marshall University, Impact Media, Xfinity High Speed Internet, One Way Septic and Renacan, and Kendrick Communications. You saved my life. You held my hand when I was scared. You helped me say goodbye to my dad. You were an example for me. You gave me strength when I thought I had none left. I couldn't tell you then, but I want to say thank you, all of you, for everything. Thank you to the physicians, nurses, and others working in America's hospitals and health systems. A message from the American Hospital Association, American Medical Association, and American Nurses Association. This is The Drive with Paul Swan on ESPN 94.1 FM and AM 930. Our final segment of today's edition of The Drive here on ESPN 94.1 and AM 930. Our text line this hour is 304-396-TALK. That's 304-396-8255. Your final opportunity until Monday to get those thoughts in. You can also find me on X, formerly known as Twitter, at Paul Swan. We got baseball action coming up tonight for you and throughout the weekend right here on ESPN 94.1 and AM 930. The Pirates play at Los Angeles against the Dodgers. We have got that game coming up tonight at 9.45 p.m. here on ESPN 94.1 94.1 in AM 930. Yesterday, the Padres got the better of the Pirates 7-6. to Tough going against the Padres. Close games, but the Pirates trying to at least stay in the hunt for a wild card spot. And it doesn't get any easier tonight with the Dodgers. Reds got the best of the Marlins 10-4. to Reds got a tough one. They take on Milwaukee tonight. 8-10 will be first pitch there. And... The Dirty Birds opening up a road series in High Point tonight. Charleston got the better of Lexington yesterday, 10-7. to And, of course, if you were with us yesterday, we came on the air, and it was amazing that we had to mention the fact that the United States had to come back to beat Serbia to set up a gold medal matchup on Saturday. They beat them 95-91, had to come back from it. The United States had to challenge Serbia. Remember the good old days of the dream team? They would just go out and throttle people. That doesn't happen anymore. The league has become a global league, and all the best players in the world are playing in the NBA, and a lot of them are playing on Olympic teams as well. So gold medal matchup with France on Saturday. Of course, we've got football action for you tomorrow right here on ESPN 94.1 and AM 930. It's going to be Pittsburgh Pirates baseball. So we've got the Bengals over on our sister station, Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340. So if you're looking for the Bengals coming up tomorrow, you've got that. That will be, again, on our sister station. They'll be taking on Tampa Bay. We're going to probably see more of Joe Burrow than we usually would see in the preseason. And, of course, I was looking at the the NFL network schedule on these games because the TV network is not local. 
where we're at for some reason, at least in greater Huntington, the metropolis that is, the Huntington area, we don't get the Bengals TV broadcast, but the radio side, you'll, you'll be covered. They're showing this thing, I think, what, 2 a.m. I saw on the NFL Network. I might record it just to glance at it a little bit. I'm not staying up till 2 a.m. for an exhibition game. This is the NFL. Why can't the NFL come up with a better way to have all those games where you can you can stream them live? They used to have this really inexpensive package, and I would watch the games. It was like a few bucks, and I could watch them all live. And then they started charging more for that, and now with Sunday Ticket on YouTube, and if you want to get the real good deal, you have to actually have YouTube service. If not, you got to pay a higher price. This is the most difficult league to kind of keep up with, to follow. I got spoiled by Peacock, absolutely. Anything I wanted to watch in the Olympics, right there. You want to watch badminton? Go right ahead. We've got the matches live for you. You want to watch soccer? Go right ahead. We've got that for you. You want to watch USA take on Serbia yesterday? We got that for you, too. So there's got to be a better way to do this. Let's get the text line back open, 304-396-TALK, 304-396-TALK. 8255. That's our text line number to be a part of today's show here on ESPN 94.1 and AM 930. Back to the text line. Texter says Doc should be invited to the 2014 reunion, but knowing him, he might say thanks, but no thanks. Yeah, he's a quiet guy. I appreciate the text. So we don't have the invite list here. That's just not something that has been made available, and I don't know. If that's going to be something because, again, you don't want to put something out prematurely and say, look, these are the guys that are going to be here and then somebody doesn't show up. So maybe you do it closer to when the event is. I would tease. I would let fans know, hey, Rakeem Cato is coming back. Tommy Shuler is coming back. I would let fans know as soon as I possibly could. And I think fans would understand, subject to change. Hey, a certain guy couldn't make it here, so he's not going to be here. That happens all the time. But this 2014 team, where do you think they rank as far as some of the great Marshall teams of all time? Where would you put them? Are they better than the 92 team? Are they better than the 96 team? Are they better than the 99 team? Is there another team that they are better than that we're forgetting? Is there a team that no way they're better than that I mentioned? Among the all-time great teams, teams where would you put this team 304-396-TALK 304-396-8255 it's hard to it's hard to say they're better than a team with Chad Pennington on it that's a hard one that's a hard one right there is this team better than a team which was quarterbacked by Chad Pennington is this team better than a team that had Randy Moss on it Is this team better than the team that won the first national championship game with Michael Payton as your quarterback? Is that team up there with them? Yes. Is this team better than those teams? Where would you rank them? I guess those are the four we talk about. The 92 team, the 96 team, the 99 team, and, of course, now the 2014 team. Those are the four that we probably bring up. Texter says... This is going back to Doc Holliday, or at least that uh, 2014 team. Uh, I know we lost, but I'll never forget the 77-76 loss at the Joan. Was that the was that the score? Was that the score? I don't think so. Was it 77-76? I'm not sure. That's um, wasn't in the 60s. 77. I, I gotta look that up real quick. I don't think that was it. It was um, it was yeah, 67 to 66. That's what I thought. So, yeah, 66. They lost 67-66. Still, that that was a one-time thing. That was absolutely a one-time thing. And of course, you know that cost them. That cost them right there. They could have uh, been a contender. We could be talking about how this team got in, got got a shot. Uh, no, I think in the modern era, that game was the most heartbreaking game for the league and it also I think cost the league a lot of money let's just let's just keep that in mind they lose that game by one point a two-point conversion 
And then they get to the championship game. They win that. And then they go to the Boca Raton Bowl to take on Northern Illinois. And they won that 52-23. to Could you imagine? Absolutely. Could you imagine what that one loss could have done? Because they were one win away from possible all-time herd greatness right there. There would have been no argument, nothing. You could. This team would have been bulletproof. They were ranked 19th. They went from 25th to 19th. They were 18th and then 19th and then dropped. And I remember we would have the uh, the weekly show where we're talking about, okay, what's, um, what's the rankings going to look like this week? And will Marshall get a, a shot? Will they be in the picture? Will they be in the conversation for one of those – Big bowls because now the playoff. If this team was playing now, if this team was in this new system where we got the playoff, this would have been your playoff team right here, except probably for that one loss. That one loss would have dung them, I think, anyway. 304 396 Tonk, 304 396 8255. I don't hold that against uh, anybody. I don't think Marshall, if I recall correctly, Marshall wasn't full strength of that game either. Still. Where would you put this team? That blemish aside, is this the team, is this the standard to which all future Marshall teams will be held to? Is it the 92 team? Is it the 96 team? Is it the 99 team? I think the 92 team gets forgotten a lot. I mean, that's the one that won the national championship. That was that was the one, the first one. Marshall, finally national champions. 96 team, loaded. Team of destiny it was moving up, making that transition. Marshall ran through pretty much the entire schedule, won the national championship that year after being contenders for several years and falling short. Won that game, makes the move. And then, of course, 1999, a lot of people think that, hey, that was the best team. That was the best team that Marshall football ever had. And then you get this 2014 team. And it goes nearly perfect, nearly perfect, except for that one loss against Western Kentucky that probably cost the league a lot of visibility and a lot of money that year. The league's doing fine now. They've got Liberty. Liberty's Liberty's a team that gets in the conversation a lot more. Despite the fact they've got that Conference USA schedule, They're in the conversation a lot more than Marshall is right now. That's going to do it for this edition. Thanks for tuning in. If you missed anything today, you can go back and listen to it. Our podcast is available. That's right. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcast. We'll be back with you on Monday. Until then, have a great weekend, everyone. FM on 94.1 W227BS Huntington. This is 930 WRVC Huntington, celebrating 100 years of broadcasting.